I want to show you how to make a scrunchy bandana using my pattern. So the first page, it tells you all the materials that you'll need and how to use a pattern. The second page has the elastic measurements that you'll need for each bandana. And the following pages are just tips on how to sew the bandana. And Okay. So what you'll do is you'll cut out each piece. Now, don't cut this piece out. This is your printing scale. So um, you'll use this to make sure that your pattern came out the correct size. So it should measure two by two. So you'll print out, I mean, so you'll cut out the um, bandana and then of course each one has the scrunchy piece. So you'll have to cut those out. But you know, to save us time, I've already cut it out for us. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to put it together. Now, as far as the small one goes, the bandana piece is already complete, so you don't have to put this one together. And then the scrunchy piece is what you have to put together. What you'll do is you'll grab some tape and just tape it, just like that. done and the same one for the small the small bandana is already complete so you don't have to put that one together but the scrunchy piece you do have to put it together you put it together the same way okay so now that one is complete and the medium the medium bandana is already complete now we do have to put together the scrunchy piece so it's the same so you'll just line it up okay that one now the large bandana is a tad bit tricky, okay? So, for the large one, you'll just have to match up, just have to match up the numbers. So, one and one, and two and two. So, I swear, like, I'm kind of a perfectionist about lining it up, but, yeah. Okay, so that one's done. And then this one, same thing. You got to put it together. So, let's push this further out of my way. So, put it together one and one and two and two and then the same thing for the extra large is two pieces to complete this one. Okay, and then also put the scrunchy piece together. One and one, and two and two. Okay. Then you'll select whichever bandana um, you want to make. Like, I color coordinate them so it'll be easier on the eyes, y'all. Because I could not stand when I was trying to make a pattern. And it was like, all oh, black. So I was like, okay, I'll make mine colorful. So... So these are your two, all your pieces that you'll need. So I'm going to make a medium one. Now the medium 
large and extra large one, um, they need to be put on fold. Like for example, the small one, the small bandana is already complete. So you don't have to put this one on fold. It's already a full bandana. So you can put this one, um, well, two pieces on top of each other. And you can cut your bandana out like that. But for the medium, large, and extra large, you have to put those on fold. And you put them on fold so you can get two pieces at one time. So, okay. Now you can either, you can either pin it down, like with pins, you know, pin it down, or you can use a rotary cutter and a straight edge. But y'all, I use a um, rotary cutter and a straight edge because it's so much easier. So. That gonna be, so I was going to be lazy and just leave that, leave that at the top, but no. A little note trying to come up. Thank you. And then let's turn it this way as well. And then we'll cut the top. kind of tricky because I'm right-handed so I'm used to having it turned the other way but okay there we go so now you have your bandana now you have to cut out your scrunchie piece so same thing Now we have a scrunchy piece. Okay, so now we have our bandana and our scrunchy piece. And I already cut out the elastic that I needed. Now we can get started. So turn your fabric inside out. Well, right side, wrong side, there it is. Wrong side, guys. And you're gonna sew right here, right here, and right here. And for your scrunchy piece, you're gonna fold it in half. Put the uh, right side in the inside and fold it on the wrong side. Blah, and sew it right here, okay? And line it up as well as I should have, but yeah, both pieces would have lined up.
Okay, and then you just make sure everything is lined up. And it is. Now for the scrunchy piece. time to turn your pieces inside out. Now, I typically use a long needle to um, poke it through but they have stuff that y'all can use too to poke it but you know I use what I have on here. That's so pretty. I always love this pattern. Same and you can kind of cut the corners so it doesn't bunge up in the inside. And then you'll turn it inside out. This one set, as you can see. Turn it inside out. Now, this is the part where you would iron your bandana, like you're ironing it. Iron all of that. Yep, you will iron it. So it could be easier to sew, but. Okay, now you need to grab a safety pin and your elastic so we can now make the scrunchy piece. So slide it on through. And then we're gonna sew this part Do the same to the other the other side so we can create the scrunchie. Okay, my scissors. Then you cut it. And then you'll wiggle the safety pin through so you can create the scrunchie part. Right here. And so this side right here, and always make sure like your seam, hold on, because you can lose your scrunchy um, part, but make sure that your seam light is lined up because if not, it'll get twisted and it'll still look cute, but it'll look a little funky depending on your pattern. So. The scrunchy piece, the scrunchy piece is now complete. So now we'll go back to our bandana. Go back to our bandana and fold in the sides. Fold in the sides. Okay, and this is where you 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 will put in your um, scrunchy piece. So we'll slide it in right here. Now it would be a whole lot easier if you ironed it, but I'm trying to do this the, the lazy way. Now you can line it up right here at the top. You can put it in the middle, however you want to do it. But I typically put it about right there. And now we're going to sew it. Hold on. Put it this way and sew. Oh. Do I have my animals crooked? Yeah, my animals were crooked. And definitely make sure that your pattern is 
like it matches your pattern because if you have a, a pattern that goes up or down make sure it still flows with the scrunchie piece unless you want it to look you know if that's how you like it if you like it i definitely love it definitely do it your way Now that piece, that piece is complete. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So, like I say, if you would, if I would have ironed this, it would have stayed. But she's not too much trying to stay. Scissors. These loose pieces of thread. Oh, that's from the fabric. Then you'll slide it, you flip it around this way. Then you'll slide it right on in here and do the same thing. Just sew down here and that's it. You have now completed. Okay, but definitely make sure you put it inside and make sure you actually sew it down because if you don't sew it down, the scrunchy piece will not be secured. This is how you make a scrunchy bandana using my pattern. There you go. And you can do the same thing for the other sizes. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Y'all have a great day.